On today's tutorial, we will learn about automating data extraction from SCP with Python. So I have already here some Python code that basically already does the login into SAP. So if you want to learn about that, you can watch the tutorial that will appear now on the top. So what we'll do basically is to go to the transaction SC16N that allows, for example, to view tables data. And then here on table, search for ekkio that is related to Purchase document headers. And uh, here, uh, well, if we execute, we can see uh, data from documents, so from Purchase documents. And so the idea is to then export these to an Excel file. So to simplify the development, uh, we can use the recorder of SAP. So we click here, then here we can choose the output where will be saved, the script file. So to start it, we click here and now let's do the process. So first search for a transaction, then here fill the table name and click here to execute. Now this pop-up appear, let's handle it. And then when we are here on this page, let's click here and then click on spreadsheet. And now it's loading. Let's just wait a bit. And then we might want to store it on a specific directory. So let's just click here to save uh, the, on the code uh, the ID to target this field. And then let's click here to also save for the file name if we want to change the file name. And then let's click on generate. And we can see, well, that because the file already exists, it wasn't generated, but we did the actions and they were recorded. So we can now stop and close here. And so we can see here, well, that was generated a file that basically uh, record the actions that we did and translated them here on the script. So this part we can ignore is about attaching to the existing, the running SAP instance, and that is already being done here on our code. So then uh, what we need to do is to navigate to these transactions. So this piece of code is doing the navigation to the transaction SC16N. So let's copy that and add here. And then uh, to execute the search, to execute the transaction, we need to execute to send the enter key is what is being done here. So let's copy that and paste. So to this uh, work here on Python, we have to put the zero between parentheses. And let's just test to see if it's working. So what I'll do, I'll comment here the login part. So it doesn't run everything from the beginning. So let's just comment here, well, these uh, lines. So here, this SAP logon start and this one. So we just need these ones to attach to the running SAP instance. So now I'll just go back and let's run the file. And also important to mention, let's just hit, we can see that it worked. So the navigation was done successfully. But one important thing to mention is the, well, what we are using here as dependencies. So PyWin32 to interact with the UI. And here I'm using .tem library to load here, uh, well, the credentials. So you can just create a requirements.txt file and run the common pip install dash r and then execute this to make sure the dependencies are installed, the ones that are needed, and also make sure you load them here on the beginning. So then after executing the transaction code, what we'll do, we will fill the table name on the field. So on this uh, table field. So let's add this line that is responsible for that here. Then to execute, uh, we will execute here, uh, click on this button. So for that, I'll just do here some zoom to be more readable. So we'll use this line of code that does the click on the button to execute the search. 
And so in order for this press to work, we have to add here parentheses. And then to handle the pop-up that appear on my side that might not appear on yours, uh, is this line of code that I will use. So just add here the parentheses and now some delay because it takes some time to appear. And of course the ideally will use here dynamic delay like waiting for the element to appear and if it appears and delete. But to keep it more straightforward, let's do like this. So now I'll go back and execute. Are you ready to master SAP automation with platforms like YPath, Power Automate, Automation Anywhere, Blue Prism and even Python? In my upcoming courses, you'll get hands-on experience and real SAP access so you can practice everything you learn. Free access to SAP is impossible to get as far as I'm aware, but I'll got you covered on my courses. And I'm about to launch these SAP automation courses anytime soon. Subscribe via the link below in the description or in the comments to stay tuned and be the first to know when these courses go live. And it worked well, so now we are here on this page from where we can export the data to an Excel file, for example. So we can see that is a bit uh, visible that this part is the part that handles the click on the button that allows to then export the data to a spreadsheet. So let's copy this part and paste it. And now we just have to put this inside parentheses in order to work on Python code. So let's do that here. And let's see how it's working. So I'll just go back here on SAP to the home screen and execute. And it seems it's working. So now it's loading here. We can see here on the top and now appear this screen from where, uh, from this pop-up from where we can define the directory and file name that will be generated. So here, on the script, uh, we can see uh, the part where it's defined at the file name. So we can here copy this part and change, for example, the default file name. So here, let's just do an enter. And here, instead of using this card position, we'll use text to set the text of the element. And here, Let's just to test, let's try, for example, Excel SAP underscore export xlsx just to see if it works. And uh, then we have to click on the generate button, which is this line of code that is responsible for that. So let's paste it and let's open parentheses here after the press. And uh, let's see if it works. So let's go back and run. And it worked. So we can see the file name was defined, the one that we have chosen on the code. And here we can see the output, the Excel file with the data from the table. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.